أهلا Hello How to tell the gender of any Arabic noun It's not going to be easy to tell But let's try Feminine noun signs The first one is تاء The tight تاء or closed تاء تاء And as you see there are two different ways to write it The attached and the separated one The first example is Zahra, Zahra, and Hadiya, Hadiya. The exception here is boys' names, ending with the tied ta or closed ta. The next sign is the shortened alif. For example, Murabba, Murabba. The exception, for example, we have Mabna and also boys' names ending with shortened alif. The next sign is the elongated alif, as in Sahara and Ashia. The exception again is boys' names ending with um, the elongated alif. Then we have plurals. Plurals in Arabic are treated as uh, feminine words. For example, we have sanadiq and kutub, and obviously none of them is ending with the closed ta or the shortened alif or the elongated alif, but they are treated as um, as feminine words. Of course, the exception here are plurals when talking about males and also um, boys' names, but boys' names aren't in plurals. So, plurals when talking about males, men, and boys, etc. Um, how to tell a word is masculine or the noun is masculine if it's not feminine. <laughs> and also, If we are talking about uh, boys' names, if we are talking about males or uh, men, uh, for example, we have sunduk and kutub. No closed ta, no a shortened alif, no elongated alif. It's no plural, so it's obviously masculine. I hope that was informative. and a bit easy for you.